This is Shepard, and today I would like to chat a bit about a philosophy that I'm interested in. And it's kind of something that I arrived at in a roundabout way. Uh, in the beginning, I was actually looking for the opposite. I thought about the word archi, or the, the root, or the, the, the part of a word, archi. And archi kind of means ruled by or a ruling class, which indicates or insinuates that it's not a voluntary thing. It is, uh, if you're being ruled by someone, you don't have a choice not to be. So a boss-employee relationship, you have your options. You can, you can quit, you can fire the person, and, and there's no longer a relationship. So the, uh, the word archi kind of means you don't have much of an option. So I looked at the different kinds of archi that exist uh, and have existed over the years. And first of all, I look at monarchy. So mon means one. That would be being ruled by one. And I said, no, I don't really like that idea very much. And then I thought, well, what about the, uh, the concept of being ruled by two or three or you know five pentarchy something like that uh and and i looked at these and i said no nah, you know i don't know that i really need to be ruled by anyone and then i thought well what about being ruled by everyone and that would be uh you know according to the best definitions that people try that would be democracy and the problem with democracy is that in fact it is not being ruled uh, by the smartest people. It's been ruled by 51% of the people that show up and, uh, and make a vote. And so that's obviously a horrible idea. Uh, most rape victims, gang rape victims, will agree that everyone in the room should not be casting a vote to make the decision. There are things that are good and bad and right and wrong, and those should be followed regardless of the number of people that agree or disagree. And so I kind of came to an embarrassing conclusion that maybe my preconceived notion that we had to have a ruling class, there had to be someone that would rule over all of us critters, because many of us are stupid. Uh, evidently, 50% uh, of people in the world have lower than average IQs. So of course, because of this, we have to have somebody to rule over, at least the dumb people. Maybe not us, the, the brilliant people, but the dumb ones need to be ruled over, right? And then I thought, wait a minute, why am I believing in this dogma? Like, have I really honestly examined any other options? What Are there any other options? And so I kind of started thinking about this, and I went through a phase that I was interested in minarchy, just the minimum amount of government that's necessary. And, of course, that's a subjective thing. Is it only that amount which is necessary for police? or that amount which is necessary for police and military, or police and military and roads? Or should we also toss in there other important things like bailing out auto companies or banks? And then, you know, you kind of get to that ridiculous part. And I realized maybe there is no amount that is necessary. Maybe human beings like me and you can manage our affairs in such a way that we don't need others telling us what to do. And that led me on a journey that has resulted in what I, the best I can figure out at this point, which is voluntarism.